All successful and famous people have one thing in common, and that is they have a message. I wrote the message of you because I believe that ordinary people have extraordinary stories tucked inside of them. And knowing and speaking your message can make a tremendous difference in the world. The message of you came out of my last book, which was the Comedy Bible that I wrote to teach people how to become stand-up comics and have a career in comedy. Suddenly, Fortune 500 companies are calling me asking me not to do stand-up comedy, but asking me to speak. And that's what this book was originally going to be about, how people can make extra money by getting speaking gigs, and how to get a speaker agent, and how to get over stage fright, and how to win an audience over, and all that's in the book. But this book became something bigger. I was invited to speak at the Veterans Hospital for soldiers who were wounded in Afghanistan and had spinal cord injury. And I'm driving and it hits me. What am I doing? I am going to speak to people who have been injured so they'll never walk again. And what, what's, what's my message? Hey, lighten up. One of the patients, Nick, his father walks over to me and says to me, Oh, Judy, I'm so happy you're here. My son has been injured. He's become a quadriplegic. He's very depressed. He doesn't want to live anymore, and he stopped his therapy. I hope you have an inspiring message. <laughs> I'm going, what am I going to do? My older sister had cerebral palsy. She was a quadriplegic. And that story that I had never told before popped out of me, and I told the story of Marcia, my older sister, who died at 58. There were 200 people at her funeral. My sister was a woman who couldn't walk, she couldn't talk, and yet 200 people came to tell everybody else the meaning that Marcia gave them. And I went over to Nick and I said, you have to do your therapy because you have a message to give. Two, two months later, actually, I went back and I spoke to Nick and he was fully engaged in his therapy. And I said, what happened? He said, you made me feel that I had a message, Judy. And that message is never give up because there was a doctor who told me that I will never move my hands again. I'll never walk. And look at this, Judy, he brought his hand and he went like, look what I can do now. I can almost give that doctor the finger. A succinct message. The one thing that sets everybody apart is their message. Your message is your legacy. It's the meaning of your life. It's why you exist. And I totally believe that most people have a compelling desire to tell the world something, but they don't know where to start. Start with a message of you and start changing lives, including your own.